Have you ever stepped into an art museum, especially one founded by a private art collection, and wondered, how does a major art collection even begin? And how does it grow? If you were to start your own art collection, what is the first piece of art you would add to it? I'd love for you to put it in the comments, along with any questions you might have today. My name is Melissa Gonzalez, and I'm a gallery educator here at the Nasher Sculpture Center, and we're in the heart of the Arts District in downtown Dallas. Raymond and Patsy Nasher met at an election party that Raymond hosted in 1948 in Boston. And later in an interview, he said that he remembered Patsy because she was the only person in the room who predicted that Truman would win. And if you're a horrible history student like I am, you might not remember, Truman did defeat Thomas Dewey that year. And so they made an impression on each other, started dating, and were married the next year. And they married, no sorry, they moved to Dallas, which is Patsy's hometown. Now art had always, always been a big part of both Raymond and Patsy's lives. And when they achieved some financial success, they began to collect art for their home. In 1950, they went to Mexico and became really interested in pre-Columbian pieces and started to build a sizable collection of ancient Latin American art, as well as other ethnographic and archeological items and American modernist uh, prints and paintings. But in 1967, Patsy surprised Raymond Nasher for his birthday with this sculpture here. The sculpture is named Torso with Buds. It's by the artist Jean Arc. It's made in 1961 out of bronze, and it is just over six feet tall. So I'm standing next to you, next to it, to give you a sense of scale. Um, take a look at the sculpture and the lines and the shapes that you see, and just think about how you would describe it. Arp is really well known for, and this is a part of a series of works that have these shapes that synthesize both forms that would remind you of human figures as well as botanical forms. And in this case, torso with buds, we have a body that is formed with the repeating bud shape. Um, for Arp's working process, he would make several buds, these bud shapes, out of plaster, combine them together, and then work really hard to smooth it so you have the texture that you see here on this sculpture, which was cast out of bronze from the original plaster. Uh, Arp once said that art is a fruit growing out of man, and I feel like this sculpture really epitomizes this idea. Um, so, this, this sculpture marked a turning point for the Nashers. After this, they really started to focus on modern and contemporary sculpture, eventually building together a, a really impressive and magnificent collection that is now here at the Nasher Sculpture Center. Um, this being their first modern and contemporary sculpture, thinking about the word bud and how a bud symbolizes growth. You can think about springtime, flowers, and plants, and whether Mr. and Mrs. Nasher realized it at the time, but it was the growth, a turning point for them, for their modern and contemporary art collection. This piece always um, had a special place to them, both in their hearts and in their home. For people who came to visit, they could see torso with buds through an entryway window. And I have a picture of their house. And if you look, Right here, you can see torso with buds, ready to say hi to you when you came in through the door. And then as you can maybe see from the inside, looking out through the window, nature really nicely frames torso with buds, which is perfect because Jean Arp was greatly inspired by and influenced by nature. And in fact, we have an exhibition titled The Nature of Arp on view here at the Nasher through January 6th. Over the next few Tuesdays all the way through mid-December, we'll be doing these short talks every Tuesday on Facebook, so I hope you'll come join us. And even after that exhibition closes, Torso with Buds will always stay here at the Nasher and is almost always on view because it has such a special place in our collection. Um, and just to end with one more quote, um, when the Nashers were asked how did they make, how did they make decisions when collecting their sculptures, they always said that it had to give them butterflies. So thanks for joining me this afternoon. I hope you'll come back next Tuesday at 2 o'clock.